thank you for stopping by and checking out this video and welcome to stands auto repair today is a tune-up 2011 chevy cruise 1.8 liter um tools you're going to need <coughs> excuse me is a 3h socket small extension and a 5 8 uh, spark plug remover uh, if you can find one that has the rubber uh, I guess you can call it o-ring or whatnot inside that will be beneficial I don't mine doesn't have it so I'm using a truck style that has it so I can actually get the spark plugs out hold on You're also going to need a T40 that is to loosen two uh, screws that are right here. You have an orange clip. You need to get out and then unplug your coil, which you can just get it right through there. Then we're going to... Oh, man. Oh Lord, those are tight. Wonder if they've ever been off. Oh Jesus. All right, I'm gonna have to pause here because uh, one-handed, I cannot get that. Okay, uh, before we continue there, uh, it is recommended you use the AC Delco plugs uh, for these for these engines. Uh, that because these are actually rated correctly for the uh, heat control and also they last a lot longer than any like the aftermarket like autolite boss ngk e3s um these are actual oem replacements which you can get at advanced auto or from your dealership uh and the part number is five 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 eight five five three four these are coded as 41-122 this is the package that it comes in. And then there is the alternate part number, 12681655 for the four pack. All right, so once you get these loosens, uh, you can, once you get it up high enough, you can thread it out yourself. What's nice about um, on the cruise is this little cubby Right here i don't know if they made this indent to actually put bolts and stuff but it it holds it holds everything just nice okay so then we're going to want to pull up you're going to want to be gentle because you don't want to break uh your coil pack wow this coil pack is amazing i don't think that i think this is aftermarket but i think this is a high quality Look at this bad boy. So we're gonna look inside each side here. The the insulators and everything looks good. All right, so we're gonna set that up here. And it's quite heavy too. Uh, now we're gonna look inside the spark plug tubes, make sure there's no debris down in there. Then, uh, Set you all down for a second. All right, then make sure that gets on there. See, I don't like these push style uh, ratchets. I hate them. I just like the ones you click on and with force. These push style, they suck. But I mean, they come in handy. Oh, that wasn't tight at all. Wow that's not tight well i guess it's a that's not tight well i guess it's a good thing i'm doing a tune-up that's not tight wow so let's wow so that makes me wonder if these are oem let's get one out 
Okay. Now I got to switch to this one. I'm eventually going to buy a new spark plug socket set, uh, five eighths. So it has the rubber. All right. Looks good. Um, it's not wet. Everything looks even. Got good burn ratio over it. Not a lot of carbon buildup. And we are using NGK, which I do not recommend. Uh, I prefer the original equipment. So in my opinion, I'm glad I'm doing this tune-up. Maybe whoever had this car previously uh, definitely didn't do this at a dealership. I can say that much. Uh, because dealership wouldn't put NGK in there. They would put AC Delco. Oh, man. All right, leave that. Well, what's nice about these is, as you can see in there, the spark plug's still sitting up straight, even though it's loose. So that that's kind of good. Maybe I'll go to the junkyard and pull a uh, wire off an older car. I used to have one, but I'm not for sure what I did with it. Um, and that way I can pull the spark plugs out, or I'll just get a socket with an actual rubber in it. Uh, but let's go ahead and pull these other out to tell the health of the engine. <clears throat> oh man, is this one going to unscrew? Okay, yeah, it's done. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Looks good. Looks healthy. Alright. Yep, still NGK. Also, you know, some people just do the one spark plug change when they get like a misfire on a certain cylinder. Like say you had a misfire in cylinder three and they don't take the time to figure out what kind of spark plugs are in there. So they just go out and just buy a spark plug and then you end up getting mismatched spark plugs. Which the reason why you don't want to do that is because each spark plug has a heat rating and a cold rating. And your vehicle has a certain heat cold ratio uh, for the engine. And the reason is that is, you know, so the, the spark can act, the gasoline air mixture can actually get ignited. Um, and if it's too cold, it may not be able to ignite it. Or if it's too hot, it could over time burn a hole through your piston. That is why I'm saying you want to use, typically, as long as you can still get them, use OEM recommended spark plugs. Uh, that one looks good, but like on the Dodge Neon, well, what's left of the Dodge Neon, um, that car, when it used to be roadworthy, I used to run, uh, if I remember, I did run NGK in those because those were better plugs for those Neons. The Champions actually were bad, not good. So, and then it's pretty much easy putting these back in. Uh, you'll need your 5 8 And then just take it and see this has a crush washer on it in a sense. Uh, you want to get them tight enough to crush that. Because if, as these were loose, there could have been blow by. Which could be what was causing my uh, car not to, in a sense, shift right, even though there's nothing wrong with the transmission, the engine could not have been at the correct RPMs per se to shift right because the, the engine's not running at top performance because there's, uh, in a sense, a very small amount of compression leak because the, the spark plugs were not tightened down correctly um, some spark plugs have torque specs 
I'm not for sure if this car does. I, I didn't even look it up because I never really ever do a torque spec on a car. Um, so just, just, and some, some vehicles do require you to put anti-seize on your plugs. Uh, some of the newer cars don't. So just make sure you, you just double check your, your car first before you go doing it. I've done a few cruises and I've never put anti-seize on, on the spark plugs and I've done tune-ups on a, on one car a few times. Um, the 1.4 models are pretty much the same. Spark plugs might be a little bit different since it's a turbo car. And then, you know, you got your diesel. They don't have spark plugs, uh, which I do wish this was the diesel. Uh, I would prefer to have a diesel anyways. So go ahead and get your new spark plug down there. And rule of thumb is to do it by hand till it tightens so you don't cross thread. Because you do not want to cross thread. Okay, so get it in by hand. Switch my over to tighten. Now what I like to do is I like to get this set up like that. And then I'm going to tighten it all the way to a half. And I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to tighten it again all the way. So that in a sense, that's two quarters. And then I'm going to tighten it a quarter of a quarter like that. And I do it one handed because two handed, I might overpower it. Now I back it up. And I just double check. See? I can, yeah. Okay, so that would be reinstalling it and tighten it down. Um, you also want to do it slowly. You don't want to do it too fast. Using power tools is technically a no-no. Unless you have a low, uh, a low RPM, in a sense, power tool. Just pulling the spark plugs out. Not installing them. Pulling them out. Uh, okay, so that, in a sense is how you do your uh, tune-up. If you've gotten to this far and you're still thinking, how do you remove this top plate? Because it's on here. Because um, when you put it on, you slide it this way to lock it in and to undo it, you bring it this way. You might have to take your palm to pop it up. And mine is already missing two tabs. Well, that that's broken so i might as well go ahead and rip that off so it will seat right um all righty and if if you don't have this try to find one because it helps protect your coil pad all right thanks for watching and always remember comment any questions you have and i'll get back to you with my best answer i can get if i have to do some research i'll do that and get back to you other than that if you're not a subscriber please subscribe I've noticed that over 98% of my viewers are not subscribed. Just hit that subscribe button. I'm not asking you to hit the bell. If you want to hit the bell, hit the bell. If you like the video, give it a like. Uh, just, you know, help my channel out. Um, it would be very appreciative of you uh, because I have zero sponsors. And, I, you know, so you guys watching my video is my revenue. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you all. And remember, if it's broke, fix it. Oh, if you're still watching, you just get a little bit of special ending here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it due to the glare, but my vehicle has 174, 175 on it. Um, first start after the tune-up. It's already done its checking the systems. Engine light goes out. Engine sounds good. Wait for the idle to come down. Once that's done, um, I'll be okay. Idle is down. Let's go give it a test. I don't need you guys to see exactly where I live, so <laughs> hold it down for a second. Seems to be responding good. 
oh yeah I can definitely tell a big uh, big difference yeah let's try this hail right here oh. okay didn't hold didn't lag on the shift there like it normally does Oh, that was, oh, if I could have a previous to now, I definitely would. But it, it just went up that uh, small hill there, no problem. I'll definitely, I'll definitely, definitely know a lot more uh, once I go out to do my main job delivering papers. But, wow. And I'll also get to see if the gas mileage has changed any. Uh, Saturdays, uh, that's about as much fuel as I use for my full tank when I do my job. But normal days, I'll use almost close to half a half a full tank. See, you know, uh, going back to OEM plug, see if that helps with the fuel mileage. If you want me to do an update video, just let me know down in the uh, comments. And just say, hey, let, let us know, you know, uh, did you get better gas mileage using the OEM plugs or not? Um, so that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually wrap up the video now. And just remember, I thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I know I don't got a lot of subscribers and views like some of the bigger guys. But I do appreciate all of you that do check, even your comments, if they're not that nice. Um, you know, still, I do appreciate you guys watching. And uh, y'all have a great day, and be safe.